Shamai friendly eye and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here. And let's get back into Planet Zoo and we are continuing in the underwater zoo. And this is gonna be our final habitat. <sighs> I'm so sad. I've had so much fun building, but it is the Cayman's turn for their habitat. They're gonna be the last habitat animal and to finish it all off, we're gonna have a transport ride to take the guests from the exit points of each of the habitats back to the beginning so they don't have to travel all that much to get like out of the zoo but we're gonna focus that um uh, focus on that at another time and get into this caiman habitat build i wanted to finish off with a bang i guess and make this super exciting but to make it super exciting, it also took me a long time to build. So I'm gonna split this one up into two different videos, like just like we did with the otters. But this time we're gonna focus on the water aspect of it. And then next time we're gonna have an exciting environment as well. So the Caymans come from South America. And we've done a South American style habitat. So I was just racking my brains, trying to think of what we could do for these caiman. And I'd given up with making like a natural habitat because we've done a couple of those. I wanted to do something a little bit more fun. And I was thinking like, what sort of water things could we do? Oh, we could do like a swimming pool? Like, the Caymans have taken over someone's swimming pool, maybe? I'm like, mm. The swimming pool would be okay and fun, which is kind of what I'm cutting out in this uh, terrain here. Like, it's a bit of fun, but it's not super exciting. So, <laughs> I thought, why don't I do a water park? And I have no, I had no idea whether I could do slides in Planet Zoo. You'll have to check out next week's video to see whether I can do slides in Planet Zoo. Uh, but I thought a water park would be really fun to do, like an abandoned water park where the Cayman have taken over this water park um, and it's been like left to kind of decay and like nature has taken over. I thought that would be fun. And I was looking on Google <laughs> Trying to get some inspiration for uh, the water park itself, like the slides. And I found this abandoned water park in Vietnam. And I'll put the, the name of the park up on screen because I don't want to butcher any pronunciation. And... Uh, this water park definitely stood out compared to the others I had seen. Like the slides were all taken over by nature and it has like this uh, huge dragon statue climbing, I don't know, feature. It's um, amazing and it's kind of sad that it never really fully opened, I think, I'm not sure. Uh, because I found someone exploring the park. I wouldn't recommend like actually going to abandoned places But if you want to see more of this water park, I'm gonna put the video link in my description uh, So you can check it out and see a little sneak peek of what I'm gonna be building uh, Next week, so they had like these tiles around the edge of the pool usually like that's the bit that sort of catches the water and there's like little drains in there and that was colored uh like a blue color uh, for the edge of the pool so i've used these panels to edge the pool and that definitely hides some of my uh, little mistakes with the terrain and makes it look a lot more man-made i think it looks at uh, the brick pattern in the walls as well look like uh, white tiles as well which is pretty good 
I wish I could leave the water in the pool once I've added the water all like grubby and green because that would give it more of an, ab an abandoned look. Wow, that's hard to say. <laughs> uh, but obviously the caiman or any other crocodile or alligator that you want to put in this habitat, not going to be happy with the uh, grubby water. So... It would look really cool for like the abandoned style but not so good for the animals. I wanted to put the lane markers down in like a nice bright blue colour to make it look like it was an actual swimming pool and I used the little wall pieces to follow the grid of the walls so I could know that it was evenly split between the walls because uh, obviously these little pieces are, don't snap to a grid but the wall pieces do so I just use those little wall pieces to follow for my main markers and it's pretty cool because once I put in my underwater tunnel for my guests you, uh, the guests can actually see these line markers and walk along the line markers as well. I was kind of disappointed to find out that the caiman don't like big groups so I've made this huge habitat for them and they ain't keen on having a lot of uh, friends in with them. <laughs> and it's quite funny because the water park in Vietnam is taken over by alligators and uh, I think if if you read into it or if you watch the uh, exploration video that I put in the description you will see that like people are warned against going into the water because there are actual alligators in there which is terrifying but pretty cool because I wanted uh, I wanted my water park to be taken over by caiman <laughs> and now I've made my pool I need to cut out an area in the wall of the pool to have space for my guests to come in through the pool in a path. So on either side in the center of the pool, on the lengthways, uh, I've made a little door for my guests to come through. And I wanted to leave in this passing situation. Uh, <laughs> let's just call it that. I wanted to leave in me uh, experimenting with the path because I've cut out quite a few times. I've, I've always sort of thought that like uh, it was boring seeing me just fiddle around with it until I can get it at the right height. But if you do actually want to um, do underwater pathing, it might be interesting to see how I problem solve in a way. So my first try was too low. Obviously my guests at the moment are gonna be clipping through the bottom of the pool. Not great. I want them to actually look like they're gonna be walking on the bottom of the pool so they can see like the line markers and the extra details of the pool itself, not just, you know, water and terrain. So to allow me to place my path higher up I needed to raise my terrain so I tried just doing like a strip of terrain that didn't work so I needed to make the terrain higher up through my pool to be able to place my path higher and that actually worked I was so chuffed so I actually had to raise it up twice to get it at this the right angle but it worked in the end which is amazing <laughs> yeah this is why I wanted to like leave this in because this is kind of the fiddliest path I've done so far like it was hard figuring this out in the first place with the penguins but I could use rocks to hide the jaggedy terrain. This one I 
was just having a flat pool bottom so I couldn't use rocks to hide the terrain anymore so it was a bit more of a trial and error thing uh, but it worked I was super duper happy once I'd like raised the terrain above the pool to raise the water level I managed to get the path through it I used the tunneling tool and the path to dig out the rest of the terrain around the pool area uh, which you can see is kind of a little awkward because I'm like underneath the pool and underneath the water and underground but the path itself will dig out the terrain for you uh, using the tunneling tool so you just place some paths down dig it out uh, delete it so you want you can have only one straight path if you want the just the one straight path I actually took that tip from D Lady Zyna. I was watching her make an underwater boat ride and she used that tunneling path, the path tunneling tool to delete some terrain uh, for her underwater boat ride, which was uh, really cool. But that is the pool pretty much built and the path is now nice and in line with the bottom of the pool and again I, I've been trying to do the viewing tunnel completely different for each one of the habitats and because this pool is rectangular obviously and the path is nice and straight through the pool I thought it would be fun to do a rectangular dome, like the airtight bit to stop the gas from drowning. So I use these panels here. A little bit of the path goes slightly off at the edges, so they are slightly angled at the edges, but uh, it all fits in quite nicely with everything. And you can actually see that the gas uh, can walk through and see the pool markers the yeah lane markers that's what they call it, lane markers so they can see that and walk through that and I use the lane markers um, as well to place donation bins and just rubbish bins really and I kind of cheated by duplicating one row and then putting it over on the other side and then duplicated it again and put it at the roof I did realize after playtesting a little bit that I had a few different, uh, a few little gaps between the uh, windows on the side and the roof. <laughs> so uh, I had to angle a few and fix a few because it definitely looked like it was not airtight and it was not looking abandoned yet. So I added in this like moss, mossiness at the bottom of the pool uh, to try and replicate like I don't know have you ever had like those plastic blow up pools in your garden um, UK wise like I know Americans have like actual pools we don't have enough good weather to have a, a real pool but if you have like one of those blow up pools uh, and you have a particularly hot day you sit in there and then it rains for like two weeks straight and you don't feel like doing anything about that pool and then you have that green mucky stuff at the bottom nasty yeah that's what I was trying to replicate <laughs> I wanted this pool to look like it'd been left and there's definitely no chlorine left in that to clean the pool it's been abandoned and taken over by the caiman so I wanted some plants to be growing at the bottom of the pool and then I used these aquatic trees but I didn't use the tree, I used the roots to kind of stick up and poke through the bottom tiles. It made it kind of a little bit more creepier, like claws poking out of the ground. And abandoned places just have like a spooky vibe to them anyway, don't they? Uh, there's just something kind of creepy about a place that's all like overgrown and abandoned that's supposed to be full of people and full of like 
noise if you think about like a even just a regular swimming pool would have like people shouting and screaming and chatting to each other and like water parks are the same you imagine you should have like children laughing and playing and then when it's all creepy and silent it just doesn't feel right and that's kind of what I wanted to kind of emulate here and have like those roots growing up through the uh, bottom of the pool and it just made it a little creepier so this is where I'm gonna leave it off this week I feel a little cheeky because uh, I promised the water park and I've given you a pool but uh, this build took me six hours <laughs> just this habitat <laughs> so uh, I had to split it up um, otherwise uh, we would have like either an uber sped up version of this which kind of makes me feel a little motion sick so I can't do that <laughs> to myself never mind anyone else uh, that gets kind of motion sickness or whatever I'd rather split it up and make it two separate videos but still put lots of effort into videos rather than doing builds that are easier to build and short take less time because I wanted this one to be super exciting because it's the last habitat so I think the pool is super fun anyway like it's completely different to any of the other habitats we've done I wanted to talk more in depth about the underwater pathing system as well because I feel like I've got more of a gist on how to do them now so I wanted to talk a little bit more about that but uh, still not quite do a tutorial if you need a tutorial check out lady designers underwater tunneling tutorial his was totally helpful and I actually used that to start with in the penguin habitat if you wanted a habitat like this maybe to put saltwater crocodiles in it because it came in a teeny tiny and this is a huge pool but they love it anyway <laughs> uh, as you can see they thoroughly enjoy swimming around above the guests and I thought that just looked amazing so I'm gonna leave it off there for now tune in next week to see how I do the water park side of this pool if you enjoyed this swimming pool build and are looking forward to the water park slides smash that like button and if you haven't already and you would like to it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video like the next part of this cayman habitat and i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time goodbye